the light when it's burning low Hey Only miss the sun when it starts to snow Only know you love her when you let it go Only know you've been high when you're feeling low How are y'all this afternoon? Um, I'm kind of to you with some knowledge that I wanted to share, but also I'm fixing to have a, uh, for breakfast I had about 10 bananas and a banana ice cream with some celery and wrapped in some kale, which was very interesting. It was a kale cone um, with an ice cream. And now I'm going to have a mango, several mangoes, smoothie with some kale. Friends keep on asking me what my favorite smoothie is. It's usually a mono fruit and a greens. So the darker the greens, the better to me, um, and the riper the fruit, you know. Ripe fruit, dark greens, or queen. So that's what I'm going to have. And then I might venture on down to the Lake Bowen, and I might take y'all down there, and we might feed the ducks. And, um, because they enjoy white wonder bread, even if I don't. But, um... Actually, we might feed them something a little more healthy. We don't need to contaminate the ducks. But I'm coming to you because I want to talk to you about this. When we don't get the nutrition we need, when we just um, take people's word for things, or we, um, I don't know, we just focus on one thing. We don't, um, we can have holes in the nutrition of this diet which is, you know, the anti-thing of what we want to do. Let's just talk about this, for example. Magnesium. This is a nutrient in your system that you must have. You have to consume it from external um, forces in food. Your body does not make it. So, when you hear people saying stuff like, Oh, my diet's fine. Oh, I don't have to worry about that. I feel good. Look at me. I'm doing just fine. Or or um, I can't give up my meat, or, um, you know, and what they're ultimately doing, people think this, this lifestyle doesn't have that much variety, when actually it's an abundant variety. And, and what is very interesting is most people eating the sad diet, or even, let's say they're eating what they think is a healthy diet, they've got um, whole grains and, and uh, lean protein, I mean carcass. So let's say they're eating that, and they think they're fine. People aren't fine, you know. Let's just say magnesium deficiency, for example. Okay, let's also take the person that maybe they just think they can go around and just eat um, bananas all their life and eat nothing else. They don't. They're not concerned about consuming a wide variety and wide colors and antioxidants from vegetables and the super nutrition from greens. What about the healthy fats? What about all these things? Um, magnesium is something your body has to have. I used to have a low magnesium. Another thing that could cause, cause this is stress. Um, so we need to start using some of these teaching tools that are out there to minimize our stress. Start living in the moment and quit wrapping your brain around all the could be, all the fear, you know, which... Um, is mostly false. It's mostly not going to manifest itself, you know. Um, so we've got stress. Diuretics cause magnesium deficiency. Caffeine, um, coffee, all these people going around drinking Red Bull and eating pecan spins for breakfast and lunch and living off beer and chicken wings at night and saying they feel fine. Um, Alcohol is another thing that is a diuretic to the system. Blood pressure medicine. A diet where you're, you're bringing in mostly refined carbs. Um, white things, you know. The whiter the bread, the sooner you're dead, so they say. Um, white pasta, cakes, crackers. Those kind of carbs that are empty, they, their calories not backed by nutrition, you know. Um, low nutritional quantity and quality. Um, low magnesium can cause depression, sadness. Um, a lot of cases of depression have been linked 
to low magnesium in the system. And uh, th then, of course, they're going to give you the um, SSRI drugs, which is the, the serotonin uptake inhibitor type drugs, which um, actually depletes you of vitamin, v, uh, vitamin B5, B12, and folic acid. Um, you know, the side effects of all these medicines that doctors uh, that are practicing on you are going to give you are worse than the cause of their self. They never try to get to the root of the problem. And watch how this comes full circle. Here's how it works. Well, first of all, these medicines can um, cause elevated blood pressure, which doctors prescribe diuretics for, which in turn causes more magnesium loss. Um, and also causes depression. Magnesium loss, loss, um, loss of bone density causing osteoporosis where they're going to give you hormone replacement therapy which gives you again causes many um, mineral deficiencies in the body coming full circle again. All because we did not address the root problem. Um, you know it causes high, a lot of these things call high, high blood pressure. They'll give you diuretic type medicines for that, which cause muscle spasm and pain. And then they're going to give you anti-inflammatory drugs for that, which deplete you from vitamin C and folic acid, which can cause, again, thickening of the blood. So if you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to want a glass of milk. It is ridiculous. What we need to do is get a wide variety of whole, ripe, fresh fruits and vegetables every dang day. You know, like you need to get your greens, you need to get your vegetables, you need to get your healthy fats in moderation. I just think people want such a simplistic answer and there it is. How much more simple could you get than that? But you can't just have bananas, you know. I mean, we have to be smart. We're smarter than that. Start investigating these things yourself so that you can make informed, intelligent decisions, you know. I mean, what you choose to focus on grows. And if you just choose to look at this one window, out this one cube of this window right here, and you don't ever look around, you're not going to see the rest of the whole scene. Do you see what I'm saying? People not adding greens to their diet. People not adding vegetables. They're creating holes in their nutrition. And I think down the road they're going to pay the price. I think it's going to start showing up in eyesight problems, in all kinds of little bitty disorders, all kinds of um, autoimmune disorders, all these kind of things when ultimately we want to live on the, the greatest and purest diet in the world. So, I just thought I would throw that out there. I'm going to come back to y'all a little bit later with some more motivational message, which is my favorite topic, and, um, and maybe some more music. My, my computer does not want to do right today with the internet, but I also will have you know that some, some people seem to think that my eyes are blue because of the makeup I wear. Well, um, I don't have on any eyeliner. I just have on some, um, just some face powder and some blush and a little bit of lip gloss and some mascara. So there you go. So I thought I'd show y'all that. But, I mean, I'm not saying I'm 20, but I am saying I'm 42 and I'm proud of it, you know. I just, um... I don't know. I'm just being me. So I just thought I'd show y'all that. You only know you love her when you let her go. Let yourself go. Let yourself be free to be you. You know, this very day. Go outside like you have become what you know you're going to. The visualized version of the greatest you can ever be. That is all I care about. I don't care about comparing myself to other people. I don't care about um, my age or my, my weight. What I care about in conjunction to other people. I don't have to think, oh, I wish I was this petite, tiny, short girl or... Maybe I wish I wore a size 6 shoe. That's not happening. Or, 
maybe I wish my hair was straight when it's kinky. No, I'm going to I'm going to let her go. I'm going to let her be free. Free to be me, you know? I hope y'all can do that today. See you later. Bye.